Before you begin, gather your supplies. Things you will need in addition to belly cast rolls are a chair for mom, a shallow pan for warm water, sharp scissors, and a drop cloth such as a sheet or plastic covering. Next, cut the plaster rolls into strips. The lengths will depend on mom's size. Shorter strips for the breast area, medium strips for the upper and lower belly areas, and longer strips for the mid-belly section. Next, position mom's chair. A pillow on the chair is recommended. Place the drop cloth over the chair. Mom can stand during the process, but she will most likely not be able to do so for 30 minutes. If, and when, mom is tired, she should sit on the edge of the chair. Before placing any casting strips, be sure to slather Vaseline, or other similar skin barrier, onto any of the areas you will be placing casting strips. Put some slightly warm water into the pan. One at a time, run a plaster strip through the water in the pan. Don't let go of the strip as it will fold and twist. Gently remove the excess water by lightly running your index finger and thumb down the strip. Firmly press each strip onto mom's skin and smooth it out with your fingers. Overlap the plaster strips as you apply them in about 3 to 4 layers to make a really strong cast. Rub your fingers over the overlapping plaster layers to mix the plaster together among the layers. Work fairly quickly as the plaster strips will begin to dry within a few minutes after they are applied. Do not worry about making the edges perfect or smooth. It is best to wait until the casting is dry and then use a sharp scissors to trim the edges. When you get to the lower part of the belly, you may want mom to stand. Once you are satisfied with the coverage of the plaster strips, wait for the cast to set. This takes about 5 to 10 minutes from the time the last strip is placed. You will know it is ready to be removed when it begins to pull away from mom. Also, tapping the cast will make a knocking sound. Gently pull on the cast to remove it. Get the edges loose first and then you will be able to feel the rest of it come loose as you pull the cast away from her body. If you would like to add a smooth finish to the cast, mix the plaster casting stone as directed and apply to the surface of the cast. You can do this right after the cast is removed or you may wait until days later. If it is later, you may want to spray mist the surface cast with water before applying the casting stone. Allow the cast to dry undisturbed for at least one day, or longer if in a humid environment. Once the cast and the plaster casting stone is dry, you may sand the surface of the cast. Use very light pressure as to not disturb the underlying gauze. For an even smoother cast and one that will be ready to receive paints, you may apply an acrylic craft primer paint, such as gesso, to the cast. It may be applied with or without the casting stone. You may leave the casting as is, or you may choose to paint or decorate the cast. Your imagination is the limit. The easiest and most popular way to display a pregnancy belly cast is to hang it on the wall. Poke a couple of holes with a small drill bit and use a decorative ribbon to hang. Happy casting!